You want me to block this down again? If I butcher it, it doesn't get edited. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah we're, du we're double blocking it. We got you, Tyler. Alright. <laughs> For questions, whenever you guys are ready. Uh, yeah, so you guys back home here, what was it like just running on your home course uh, turn out with the fans? Oh, it was awesome. Um, I think with, you know, the friends and family of the community here, um, you know, out here supporting us um, along with the Falcon Fanatic race, um, I think it all just brought like a really great atmosphere um, just in time for the women and men's races today. Um, yeah, I would say Having the support is just really important. Um, I don't think we would have done what we've done today without them. Uh, you guys now won this event back to back years. So what's that like? Um, I think it's a really special moment that we have, um, especially for future years to come. Um, future Falcons will you know, say, hey, I'm going to win on my home course. I think that's a really special feeling to have. Um, also, just like a really good motivational factor going into the MAC week. Speaking of that, what kind of momentum does that give you guys going into this? Uh, really great momentum. Um, I would say, you know, when you're feeling good, you're feeling good, and you can run off of that pretty well. Um, you know, when you're not feeling as good, you still think that you have so much time until Mac, but it's only two weeks. Um, so we really have to, you know, I'm just telling the guys, like, go cool down, go recover, go do what you need to do, because at the end of the day, it's business, but we want to have fun doing so too. Uh, in both the women and men's, we saw a lot of people afterwards just you know taking long breathers and especially for the men's side you know some were puking just talk about the physicality you know and just how every single cross country event especially here is just always so tough to manage but a lot of people pull through in the end so just physicality just talk about that yeah i really think you know along with the alumni race you know you have alumni running um you know 10 miles a week or 10 miles a month and that in comparison to what they're training like it's not very much um, and it takes a lot to run, you know, a 3.72 mile race, a 4.97 mile race. Um, and they're training, you know, they're committed every day to doing this. So it's more than a hobby to them. It's, you know, they're committing every day to be with the team. Um, you know, sometimes you push your body in ways that you didn't think you could before. Um, and, you know, thus, you know, the puking at the end, people falling at the end. Um, so you can tell how much these athletes push themselves, you know, for, not only for themselves, but for their team as well. How do you prepare for Mac Week? The mentality, is, how does it change? Um, you know, a lot of mental skills play into that, and I think that's something we practice both on the men and women's team. Um, luckily, we have um, Dr. Danny, who's a mental health counselor, and um, I think she practices a lot of good mental skills with them. Um, they're lucky they have a lot of good resources here at PG to help them throughout, you know, something that's you know, very important to them, um, important to the team. Um, but I would say, you know, at the end of the day, like for me, and I want them to have fun, um, but also, you know, we have a job to do. Um, and like I said, they don't do it for themselves, they do it for the team. Beautiful weather out here today. Can you talk about what that was like, given that it's been so cold the past couple of days? Yeah, it's funny, because once that uh, coolness of the crisp air in the fall hits, you know, all runners around the world are like, I feel great, my heart rate's down, um, I'm running more mileage than I've done before. Um, today, however, it's a little it's a little warm. Um, you know, that can take a toll. We saw some people walking at the finish here, um, their body temperature probably rose a little too quickly. Um, but I would say all in all, it's beautiful weather. Um, and I'm hopeful that, you know, Mac Week brings that beautiful weather again. We'll be in Muncie, so who knows? Midwest weather can be a little unpredictable at times, but um, I think, our runners are really good at adapting to whatever weather is upon them. Specifically on the guy side, you had two top 30 finishes. Can you talk about what that's like, having that success from them? It's really cool because they run together so frequently, um, not only you know in workouts, but races as well. They are able to now apply themselves from workouts to racing, and that's just a really cool transition to see. Sometimes you see the mental blockage from workouts to racing um, and they figured out it's like having a superpower um, they figured out the code and they're going to be using that at Mac. 
How much of a difference does that temperature, that weather, make for you guys? And how do you guys prepare for whatever may be thrown at you and wants you? Yeah, it's really hard because, um, you know, as temperature rises, obviously your body temperature rises, and you want to be able to keep your body temperature as cool as possible before the start. Um, so I really encourage them to try to put water on them right before, um, just anything to keep them cool, because um, it could really affect performance if not treated. Um, especially with hydration. Hydration is a huge part. Some people drink too much water, some people drink too much electrolytes. Um, it's a balance and sometimes you just don't get it on the first couple of tries, so it's about more so trial and error. Any other questions? Cool. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.